of our local state police officers bundled up and faced the conditions today, but not to make an arrest. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Emily Allegrucci tells us about a memorial run hosted at the Wilkesbury area barracks in honor of a fallen trooper. Pennsylvania State Police put on their running sneakers to honor one of their own at the Trooper P. Wilkesbury Kenton Iwanek 5K Memorial Run on Saturday morning. Trooper Iwanek lost his life to a drunk driver in 2008. His family and band of PSP brothers and sisters have been spreading awareness on the dangers of driving intoxicated since. We have a lot of guys around here that, you know, want to raise awareness about everything the Iwanics do for us and about driving while impaired. So we wanted to make it easier for guys around here to get involved. Trooper Iwanics family began the memorial foundation that bears his name in 2009. Their mission? To provide state and local law enforcement with preliminary breath testing devices. We were a part of the DUI annual conference and my, we went to different sessions and my dad went to one about the breathalyzers, these um, preliminary breath testing devices, and he said, wouldn't it be cool to be able to put a PBT in every state police barracks um, in Kenton's honor? And my mom was like, yeah, we can do that. You know, we'll raise funds. And then it just took off. The foundation has raised more than $1 million and distributed about 2,500 PBTs since its inception. I know a lot of local departments have not the funding that we do as a state, so it's good that they can get PBTs and they can get out there and be more proactive and get more drunks off the road. Being in a small department, you know, we don't have uh, all the funds that we can to be able to pr produce all of them for all the officers. So for me to be able to get it, then I can uh, go out and uh, patrol a little bit more knowing that I have one of these. The success of the foundation would not be possible without the support of Pennsylvania State Police. They could be out in Pittsburgh or Philadelphia, but they're all brothers to us. We all went through the same academy. It was 27 long weeks. Um, so when something happens on the job, it's very hits home no matter what, no matter what part of the state it is. They have just taken us in as part of their family as well. And we realized how much that brotherhood that my brother felt as being a part of the state police, um, really how true that is. This relationship that formed from the tragic loss of True Brywanek will keep keep his memory alive through events like the memorial run. Uh, even if these portable breathalyzers take one dangerous driver off the road, saves one life, I mean, that makes all of this worth it. All of this worth it to us. At just this event alone, the Trooper Kenton Iwanek Memorial Foundation provided over 30 breathalyzers for northeastern Pennsylvania to continue the fight against impaired driving. In Hanover Township, Emily Allegrucci, 2822 Eyewitness News. And head to PAHomepage.com to learn more about the Trooper Kenton Iwanek Memorial Foundation and any upcoming events they plan to hold.